contest cooking with our fire i will be making eggless sugar cookies ingredients are 1 by 2 cup of unsalted butter 1 and a half cup of all purpose flour 1 and a half cup of white sugar 1 by 4 teaspoon of baking powder 1 by 4 teaspoon of salt and if needed a little milk so let's start let's add the unsalted butter into the bowl Now let's add our sugar. I'm using white sugar. I need to mix it well. So it has until it comes to its substance. Now the butter, let's unsalted see. butter should be in room temperature. So we'll take our all-purpose flour and add our baking powder and salt. Now we'll mix it gently. I'm going to add this in a large bowl. So I'm going to add slowly as the flour is boiled. Now I'm going to mix it nicely. So I had finished mixing it well. Make sure you mix it well. Now I need to add this sugar and butter, unsalted butter mixture into this. I had finished adding the mixture so now I need to mix it well with the spoon Make sure you mix it well make it like a dough So now I'm going to use my hands. First I'm going to clean my hands with this towel. Tissue. I need to need up my hands. I make it like a two. If it doesn't turn into a, a dough, you can add a little bit of milk. Milk should be also in room temperature. Little bit of milk, not a lot. 
Don't add it all together, the milk. Should be like a dough. For a so while mixing it, it became a little messy here. It's okay. So I made three balls. It was hard to make it a big ball all together. So I made three to make it easy for me. Because I'm a kid. Now I'm going to put this in the freezer. First I'll cover it with, I'll put it inside a clean wrap. The block bag. And for 15 minutes, we have to put it in the freezer. So we need to close it. And keep it in. So now um, I'm going to move it to the side and I got some baking sheets. So first put one baking sheet here. So open the block. Roll it with the rolling pin. Now I'm going to make it to a shape. <laughs> we have to um, put the oven for 10 minutes. So let's go back. Yeah, um, I think it's ready. So now I'm going to take my heart shape. You can use any shape for cutting. Now I need to cut it well. Make sure you cut it nicely and press it before taking the piece. Now I'm going to take it out. So I have my baking shape and I have also a baking shape here. I'm going to cut this. It should be cut very nicely so it can pop out nicely. Okay. There was a little dough left from the heart, so I rolled more. So uh, this was what I pulled. Now I'm going to cut more. Half. So I got here three hard cookie dough. Now I'm going to cut it one more. So now I have got four of the hearts. So now um, I had a little uh, dough from this left. So I'm going to make it like balls and just 
round shapes like the shapes. It should be a little thick. So it's like cookies. Fully really flat. Little thick. If you want you can continue with the the cutter but I just want little bit. It's very easy to do this. So with the other doors, I made this shapes. So now there is a little left. So I'm going to keep this, the freezer, and it, the, uh, someday I will make it. So I'm going to wait a little time for make it ready. So I'm going to make the glaze for the sugar cookies. Uh, what we need is um, the ingredients are powdered sugar and milk. So add a little milk to the powdered sugar. So I'm going to add some color to make it color. A little bit. So now our cookies is ready. Um, these are cookies. Now we also have our glaze here. I'm going to put glaze for two and two will be thick. So this and this I need to add glaze. Let me just add glaze. And the other ones it will be normal without the glaze. So I need to add a little bit of glaze. Little bit of this on top. So now our hard sugar in the place is ready. So now I'm going to try it. Very tasty. Sugar 
hungry and crunchy very delicious we will taste the ones without this taste it I like the glazed one more because it has those more sugar. I love sugar. 